Hey, it's Danny here, and I love the pentatonic scale. Whoever thunk that up must be a genius. It's as if they took out the two notes that are a little bit troublesome when you're trying to improvise. Leaving only the easy note choices. It's like a foolproof scale. And it, it's so easy to remember. It's almost symmetrical. It's, it's magic. I love it. But one of my favorite sounds is when players move between the two, the major and minor pentatonic scales in the same key during a solo. John Mayer is an absolute master at this. All right, as usual, before we get underway today, give me a like, please, and a comment. And please consider subscribing to my channel. There's stuff coming out every week and it's all interesting. It's right across the board. It's all very interesting. You all know the pentatonic scale is both major and minor. Like a major scale, the same shape can be considered both major or minor. So an A minor pentatonic scale is also a C major pentatonic scale. So if I was playing over C, or A, both fit. Okay, I always think of the major pentatonic as, as sounding really nice. Loop up a little D chord there. So that's the D major pentatonic scale. Beautiful, but if we move to the minor pentatonic, it's a little bit more challenging to the ear. So there's a couple of notes that are especially challenging because our third is flattened, would normally be there, but that's just, that's a bluesy note. And our seventh. So those notes weren't previously in the chord, so they're new to it, whereas down in the major, we've got our major third, our root, our second, which is nice and easy to listen to, and our sixth, which is equally fitting. What I thought we'd do today is set up a little loop of some chords based on something pretty common. It's in the key of D and, and I've just ripped the progression from John Mayer's uh, Waiting on the World to Change and Curtis Mayfield's People Get Ready. Two very, very similar songs. So we've got a few chords in the progression here that, that will give you a good chance to hear those two scales over a mix of chords. We've got a D, a B minor, a G, there's an A, uh, and we've also got an E7 in there. So let's loop this up and uh, have a little bit of fun, see what it sounds like.
great example of John Mayer using this technique is on his cover of Hendrix's Boulder's Love. He's tuned down for it, but I've just played it in A flat because it's it's good for the mind to challenge ourselves to get outside of guitar keys, standard guitar keys. Uh, so A flat, uh, E flat, F minor, and G flat. So he moves between the A flat minor pentatonic and A flat major pentatonic. So let's have a listen to how this works. So he, he starts off playing in the, the major pentatonic. That's suggesting the major, so uh, minor pentatonic, back to the major pentatonic. Uh, then a really cool little pentatonic blues lick. Then he goes up to the minor pentatonic by sliding up to the, it's basically the fifth and the minor third, or flattened third. And later in the tune, in the solo, he plays this awesome little descending chordal lick, which is back in the, the major pentatonic again, after some very minor pentatonic licks. Oh man. Anyway, look, I hope you got something out of that. Please give me a like and subscribe and comment, comment away, keep me busy. I love uh, responding and interacting. All right, looks like I've got to let the cat out. See you soon.